And by the way, you can just select like two edges and make a triangular surface. Now, of course, you know, you can easily like draw an ellipse on the surface, you know, and use the trim surface command like I did here to cut a hole in it. Okay, now, you know, if you try to just select a planar face, you know, it'll automatically throw you into sketch mode if you're trying to extrude a you know, extrude a surface on this, but if you, like it says here, if you press Alt and select a planar face, then, you know, then it'll actually start extruding. So, Now, when you're sweeping a curve, make sure you don't go into this. You know, if this thing pops up, um, I don't know what this over here is, though. Never really noticed this before. At any rate, it won't let you, uh, won't let you do anything if you choose the wrong one, but you got to go to the surface one. <laughs> you know... So, oops, shit. Okay. Anyway, um, <coughs> okay, now when you're sweeping you know, paths and profiles, you know, it's really just important that, you know, um, you know, that's the edge on view, and you can kind of see that, you know, these profile paths actually, you know, don't start in the same plane as our profile. So, you know, but it'll still sweep because of the fact that this uh, profile is still piercing the plane that our I mean this uh, profile this path is still piecing the curve that our profile is drawn on now if this profile was drawn below the path or this path was uh, a, you know not passing through the plane that this uh, profile was on then it wouldn't be able to work so but it's always best to actually have the profile path on the same plane, um, you know, as what you're sweeping, but it's not an absolute requirement. Now, you should note, you know, that when you're doing profiles, okay, you know, um, you know, the paths, it, it's, you know, like I said, they don't actually have to be related to the geometry per se. Um, but if you put any guide curves in there, those actually have to have a piercing relationship with the, you know, with the profile in some fashion. So, um, that's when you get into requiring the pierce relationship. Anyway, the deal is with these swept surfaces, though, is that, you know, when you are dealing with guide curves, don't have too many of them because, you know, you start to get into where, you know, you want to use a boundary surface or a a filled surface instead because you know you, you don't want to introduce too much curvature into it because um, it creates problems with it trying to resolve resolve it so <coughs> anyway you can you know go and just like create lofted surfaces um, you know between like two lines like I did here so you know, it doesn't have to be like closed profiles or anything like that. <coughs> 